Hi friends. I am so excited to hop on today and join you for live stamping. I am going to start going live on Wednesdays at two o'clock. And today we're going to um, work with the Plentiful Plants bundle and actually the suite. And I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. So um, if you want to join me live each week, we'll be working with different products and go ahead and click like for my business page and notifications so you will see when I'm going live each week. And each week we'll work with a different set of stamps and or dies and hopefully craft together and um, talk about some fun things. Next week we'll be working with the hand pen note cards. So today we're gonna make these two cards and you can also get these free make and take kits um, each week if you place an order from the time of the video through the Sunday night at 11 o'clock, I will send you all of the supplies pre-cut to make both of the projects that we're making each week. You'll just need to use the monthly host code and I'll have that available for you each week as well. And tomorrow, Stampin' Up! has actually announced free shipping, which is amazing. So you can stock up on any essentials you need or add stuff from your wish list and save a good amount of money on free shipping. And I will still also send you um, these adorable make and takes that we're going to walk through today. There's a couple other things that I just want to note before we get started, and then I'll start walking through all of the fun stuff. Stampin' Up's July through December um, mini catalog, which is formerly the holiday catalog, is being pushed back a little bit. And so instead of it being available to customers in July, it is available August 3rd. And demonstrators can actually order from the catalog in July. I can't show you the inside of it, but once I get products, I can show you what I've ordered. And so join me next Friday, which is July 3rd, for a non-Wednesday scheduled Facebook Live, and I will unbox all of the fun things that I pre-ordered. It'll be um, one of all of the papers, embellishments, ribbons, so that I can take pictures to um, add to my product share information. So you'll be able to see all of that and then all of the favorites that I have um, that I love from the new mini catalog, which is amazing. You guys are going to love everything. It's so good. Um, and so I have a nice list, a nice hefty list of things that I'm going to pre-order um, next week and we'll have those to show you on Friday as well. And then I also added a link to the live that... Um, is for my events. If you are interested in crafting with me online for a class, I send you all of the pre-cut kits and we get together on a Zoom and craft together and it's always a great time. So the first thing I want to do is show you the Plentiful Plants Suite. And I literally just marked pages in my catalog. So I could do that. So here's the annual catalog that I am using products out of. Um, and here's the plentiful plants. This suite is so lush and comforting to me. I love the greens and the, the browns that they tie in. And it's actually a pretty bright brown, which makes me happy. And it's the cinnamon cider that does that. It's such a nice, um, warm, comforting color to me. So... We are using the stamp set today, the Plentiful Plant stamp set, as well as the coordinating dies. And I have them next to me so that you can get a better look at that. And these are so fun. You can see that some of the dies will cut out the stamped images, and then some of them are just completely standalone. And this is one of my favorites here, this um, macrame hanging, like plant hanging holder um, and I will use that today as well and I'm actually going to use a blending brush on it um, and so there's a lot of dies you get 17 dies and 15 stamps in the bundle 
And then it's got this awesome paper lattice um, embellishment here and it comes in a pack of 10 and they almost look wood. It's not. It's a really thick cardstock. I think maybe like a craft brown and it's really sturdy so you can see it's not wobbling very much um, but it almost looks like wood grain just the texture in the paper. So this is a lot of fun. Um, it does take ink really well so if you wanted to change the color up you could darken it um, or color it black. I don't know that it would take lighter colors very well, but I did use a blending brush on it with another brown and it, the shading was beautiful. So that is the bundle that we're gonna use today. And then it has all of this coordinating designer series paper, the Bloom Where You're Planted paper. And actually I think it's called, it's, I guess it's called the Bloom Where You're Planted Suite. I get the names of bundles, the stamp set and the dies and the paper and everything so different and yet some of them are the same and I just go with the flow and call it whatever I want. Um, come back to this after um, we make cards because I wanna show you what I'm using for the next couple of classes that I have scheduled and hopefully you'll join me because it's gonna be a lot of fun. The paper is 12 by 12 and I went ahead and cut um, six by six pieces just to show you all of the prints really quick and one and a couple that we're gonna use today. So here, it's just a quick flip through of all of the pattern paper designs. And again, that comes in 12 by 12 sheets. Oops, I guess I don't need to flip it, do I? Because I, I did that already. So here's this nice wood grain, really light. I like to use this to take pictures on. A nice gray brick or cement beautiful lush foliage, which is upside down. And then this one, and it's hard to tell by the six by six piece, but this is actually this pattern all the way across the top. And then the bottom is it's flipped like this. So you can get multiple card backs or card bases out of this sheet. If you cut it four by six, you'd have six, um, six pieces with the vines going down, or if you wanted to use it to the side, I just love this. I don't know what type of leaves those are, but it's really pretty. And it's a nice mix of um, varied shades of green in there. And so then we've got bricks in that cinnamon cider color. This nice foliage, a tree pattern. Some more foliage. Now, some of these you can cut out with the dies. So this one, the actually, yeah, these three, you can cut with the dies. The rest, if you wanted, you could fussy cut them. And same with this one, I really like this. A gray foliage. And then this sheet that has all of these pots. You know, some of these have dies that coordinate and some of them don't. And so you can see that this one fits here and this one I love that I love the coordination and it makes it so easy this this paper pack and I'll show you we're gonna make a card um, that the only stamping on it is the sentiment and if you really didn't want to put a sentiment on it you could skip it and just have it as an all occasion card and you could make an entire gorgeous card without stamping if you wanted to but we all love stamping, right? So why would we want to do that? All right, so that's all the designer series papers and I'll show you as we go which ones I cut um, pieces out of. So the first card we're going to make is this thank you and this is the one I was talking about. It's using just the images from the designer series paper and then the thank you stamp. I did stamp, that's the only thing I stamped on the whole card. And as I'm looking at it, I'm thinking that I did not cut out my plant. So I'm going to be cutting that on camera. I have my sheets next to me and I did cut out my pots original or early so to avoid doing that on camera. So I have this sheet 
and I have some of these and you can see that I've already cut some out and then I have this piece here which is the pots we looked at and this whole sheet of paper is just rows and rows of these planters and so that's what I used to cut out my bases which I that I already did but I realized now that I'm sitting down I did not cut out my plants so I'm going to grab one more piece that will have some more plants on it or is that the two maybe that's the two okay so I'm just gonna quickly cut because I didn't do that so I want this plant again I love this guy he's nice and full and fits in the back of my collage and I also want this little succulent guy again super cute and you can see on the sheet that there's different colored variations even within the pattern. So these two are the same with that dark um, evergreen on the bottom and maybe mossy meadow on top. And then this one down here has it switched. So you can choose whichever you want. I think that's it for that sheet. And then do I want something out of here? Maybe this guy. Yeah. No. Yeah. Let's do this guy and then we'll see where we get. Crafting on the fly today. That's okay. So I'm gonna do, normally I would take a lot more time. I like fussy cutting. I know a lot of people don't like fussy cutting, but I really like it. I will gather a bunch of stuff to cut and I'll sit at our dining table and our dining table is adjacent to our front room where the TV is. And so sometimes I get tired of sitting in my craft room alone and I'll just take something that I can work on and be near the rest of the people in the house and just sit there at the table and cut stuff out while I'm listening to them play a game or watch something or listen to baseball, whatever they're doing with the boys, my husband and my five-year-old. I will just want to be closer Sometimes, sometimes I like my whole family. <laughs> Who, who's with me? Sometimes we just like to hide. All right. I am gonna try to just whip these plants out super quick. <clears throat> so while I'm cutting, I and hope I don't distract myself because sometimes I can only do one thing at a time, but I, um, so my upcoming classes, if you're interested in joining me, I love that we are hosting classes online now because I get to see so many more people, so many more of my crafting friends from across the country. And so usually I have two classes a month. The summer slows down a little bit and then the holiday, like the month of December, I slow down a little bit just because we usually like to go out of town and it's hard to do stuff from out of town. But my upcoming classes are super fun and I will show you at the end of this video the pages of the catalog that feature the items I'm going to be using. My next class is August 7th um, and it is the All Squared Away Bundle. And if you don't know me yet, actually I don't even think I introduced myself. <laughs> I am Kirsten Del Rosario and I live in the Bay Area of San Francisco in California with my husband and my little guy and wow I cannot believe I did not even introduce myself so I am excited you're joining me if you do not see the little red live button up in the left corner of your screen that means you're catching the replay and that's okay um, I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I just had my five-year anniversary, which is super exciting. I also just went on my first incentive trip to Maui, which was also super exciting. I loved it, and I can't wait to earn the next one. I'm getting pretty close, and it's a trip to the um, Caribbean next year on a Royal Caribbean ship, so that will be super fun. Um... But anyway, if you have not crafted with me and aren't familiar with me yet, I love shaker cards. Shaker cards are my jam, um, or anything interactive really. So 
I have a class coming up using the All Squared Away bundle and there's going to be at least two shaker cards. <laughs> two of the five projects will be shaker cards because I love them so much. And I will show you what that bundle looks like. And then in August, I have a, oh no, that was August 7th. August 21st, I have cards for kids. And I say cards for kids because I look at them and I think that I'm going to give them to kids, but you know what? I'm probably going to give them to adults too. There's a super cute pirate and mermaid set that some of my friends would love. And then there's also this really cute um, space birthday set that's called Stellar Birthday. And I would love getting that. And I'm 41, I think. 40, yeah, something like that. 41, I can't remember what, how old I am. Um, I would love getting that, so it doesn't have to be for kids. Okay, back to the card at hand. We're making our thank you card. So I have my card base, and all of these measurements will be on my blog tomorrow. Um, stampwithkirsten.com. I'll have all of the information for the two cards that we're making today. And then again, if you want the free make and takes, um, you, it, you can place an order with me until Sunday using this host code and I will automatically send you, I see I've got two cut already, I will automatically send you kits to make both of these cards. You will still need your own stamp and ink. Um, if you want to add images from something else, you can totally do that. If you want to use your $35 order and order this bundle, then you'll already have what you'll need or I'm using to make the cards. But if you want me to send you these free card kits, I would be happy to. Um, if you don't already have an, a demonstrator with Stampin' Up, I would love to be your demonstrator and help you with any of your stamp order needs. Um, so again, this card base is gray granite and it's five and a half by eight and a half. And then I scored it at four and a quarter. I also have my layers pre-cut. I've got my little pile of stuff going on over here to my left. I have my layers pre-cut. I have my cinnamon cider layer here, and that is cut to um, four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then my designer series paper is cut already to four inches by five and a quarter. And I'm just gonna layer these together. I like using liquid glue when I'm gluing paper to paper because it gives you that extra little bit of the extra couple seconds of wiggle room when you're layering things. And you see here's the back of that gorgeous paper. Um, to move things, to move it around and just get it really good, like even I guess, or where you, where you really want it. So I'm gonna lay it down and before I give it a good push, I can take it and move it ever so slightly. And now I'm just really gonna make sure that it's stuck where I want it and it's gonna dry that way. I have my, there's dog hair. I have a Great Dane puppy and I do my best to keep him out of here, but sometimes he creeps in. So I'm gonna build my picture before I glue everything down. I like, I have commitment issues when it comes to glue. And so what I'm gonna do is just kind of play with all of the pieces that I cut out and see where I want them to go. And again, this guy is really big and lush and so I want him to be in the back. And then I've got this pretty pot here. And I think originally what I, did, what I did was I covered up part of this terracotta in the back because if you'll notice when you get your designer, when you get your sheets of paper, that some of the pots go off of the edge. Some of them you can salvage and I really like to do that so that I can have as many pieces as possible. And so I think the pot that I used last time I needed to salvage. So I'm just kind of, let's see, I'm gonna scoot him up. I know that's the same pot, but I like the plants hanging out of it. So let's see what we can do. And then we're just going to cover, maybe cover this guy up with another, maybe this will move over here. 
Nope. No. This is how I craft. I'm constantly moving stuff. So now we need another plant for this guy. Hmm. How about this? Maybe this one? I guess I could have. Hey, Kathy, how are you? Thanks for joining me today. Are you enjoying your summer so far? We are playing with the Plentiful Plants Bundle, which is so fun. I am, I realized that I did not cut enough plants out, so I'm just quickly trimming one more. Semi quickly. This guy's got a lot of leaves. If you know of anyone that would like crafting with me on Wednesdays, please share my video. I would love to have more people to chat with. It's so fun to craft together. Oh good, yeah, I thought I thought you were on summer break. What do you have planned? Anything, any trips coming up? <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's perfect. I love, oh great, there we go. I think this looks great. So now I'm gonna commit and I'm going to adhere it all down. I just wanna see where my sentiment is gonna go first. So that's, I want, I really like this pot there. I wanna make sure I'm not covering up too much of it. Okay, so if you don't have a take your pick tool, you definitely need one. I use it and I sneak glue dots everywhere. So I take my glue dot roll here and I get it unrolled to where I can get my glue dots. And then once I have all my pieces in place, I just kind of go like this. See, now that I've got a couple of them shifted, but this is a great way to keep everything down so I know that's where that plant is going. And I'm gonna put this right on top of it. Glue dots are an easy button for me. I will use them on everything if I can. So there's my, let's see, I wanted to make sure this one, oops, I just glued that leaf down. Oh well. Try to center that a little better and tuck that. Okay. So now I can, I'm going to put this guy down. This is my little brick shelf that I made out of one of the pieces. This piece is, what is this? It's one by three. My little one inch by three inch brick shelf. That is just gonna sit there and hold all of my plants like it's floating in midair. Because why not, right? And then this guy is gonna sit over on the side. Using your pick tool for glue dots also is very helpful if you don't have nails. Let's see. I'm gonna use this guy over here again because I really liked covering up that connecting spot right here with the bow, with my twine. So I'm gonna do that again. And this one's covering up a lot of that plant in the back and I don't want that. So let's move things around a little bit. Oh, awesome, Maui. And then Costa Noa, I'm not, that doesn't sound familiar to me. Where is that at? It's probably a silly question, isn't it? 
Maui is exciting. We loved it. My son still, <laughs> he's still asking when we're going back and we've been home for a few weeks now and we've even been to Disneyland since then. And he's like, when are we going to Maui? Um, well, I don't know. I don't know if we're going again anytime soon, dear. It's kind of far. There we go. You get both of these. All right. So there's all my plants. How easy was that? It looks like I cut out an extra bowl there. So then I'm also going to take my twine. This is out of the new Essentials Twine Pack, and it comes with five colors in one pack, which is super convenient. And I've taken two pieces. These are, I usually cut them about eight inches. So one's a little bit, one's like 11 and one's eight, but eight's usually sufficient for my chubby fingers. So I like to take two pieces and tie a bow so that it's a little bit thicker and it adds more to your bow, but it also adds more to the knot. And that's really, that's really what I like. I like being able to hide that glue dot right behind the knot. So I'm just tying my bow. There's a lot of shadow on my hands. I don't know what's up with my lighting today. I have the same setup that I always use. And it just feels very dark to me. Okay, awesome. I like glamping in tent cabins. That's so awesome. I have not done that yet. We keep saying we're gonna go camping, like real camping, but we don't have any gear. I want to get gear. It's something we say every summer and then the summer gets away from us and it's gone and we didn't go camping. One of these years we will go camping. I can't believe that next week is July. How is next week July? Okay, so I'm putting that bow right there at the bottom of that succulent and it kind of covers up the fact that it's just floating by itself above that pot. I'll just trip my tails off. There we go. Awesome. And now I'm going to stamp my sentiment. And I'm going to use the thank you stamp again because I can never have enough thank you cards in my stash. I'm sure you are probably the same. And I cut this piece of basic white cardstock to three quarters of an inch by two and a half. And it's the perfect size for this thank you sentiment. Just gonna line it up with my grid paper to help with making it straight. It doesn't always work, but most of the time I get a good, a good line out of it. Oh yeah, Disneyland's going to be crazy for a while. I'm so glad we were able to go right before um, things opened up because they're gradually increasing capacity and when we went it was only 35%. It felt really busy in the mornings until people kind of dispersed and then it felt okay and then um, at like 3 o'clock every day the parks just cleared out. And so from, and they closed early, um, earlier than they used to. So the park hours right now are, are, were nine to nine. And so from three, maybe f between three and four and nine o'clock, it was, there was nobody there. I mean, it was so nice and the lines were great. Um, so we had a lot of fun. It was, it was a really great trip. So uh, hopefully you'll get to go this summer, but I have a feeling it's going to be crazy for a little while. Okay, so now that I have all of these done, and where did I put my green ribbon? I bet it fell on the floor. Because I just had it. Uh -huh. Where did it go? Alright, hold please. Nope, oh, there it is, on the floor. So this is the Evening Evergreen Chevron ribbon. 
And what I did, again, of course, I used my trusty glue dots, which it looks like my roll is getting low. And I just put one on the bottom of my sentiment on the back. And I wanted just a little bit to show. So now, oops, now let's see here. So I've got my glue dots on the bottom. I'm gonna flip my sentiment over and just put it so I can see the ribbon. And then I'm gonna trim it off. And this ribbon is kind of, it stretches out if you play with it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I wanna leave a little bit on each side so you can see it. And then I'm gonna kinda just manipulate the threads and pull out a little bit. Sometimes my pokey tool is good for that too. But you can see that it's, um, I guess I said stretch, but it uh, frays. So we want it to be kind of like a carpet end, which is nice with the plant look. So I'm just gonna pull a little more of that. Oops, I think that's probably good. I don't wanna pull too much. There we go. And just spray it out a little bit. Okay. And that side, I think I wanna secure that end down a little bit more. So I'm just gonna lift it up and put another glue dot onto my label and just make sure it's not flapping in the wind there. Hey Maria, how are you? So excited to see you. We're crafting today with the Plentiful Plants Bundle. Yeah, um, Kathy, I totally understand. It was, thankfully we were still with lower capacity, but it was, there was a couple things, I think, I it, it think that some of the things didn't bother me as much as they bothered the people I was with, but, like the food, the the food situation of mobile ordering and then um, having to order, really having to kind of plan your food all day long early because the mobile order spots would fill up. And so if you, you know, you were like starting to get hungry at 1130, you'd go into the app to order food and the first window was like three o'clock. Um, so that was challenging the first day at, Dis at California Adventure. But then on Monday at Disneyland, it really wasn't as much of an issue so I, I don't know it didn't bother me as much as it bothered other people because you could still stand in line um not everything was open as far as food options um and in the ones that were had limited um menus but it worked out okay okay so I've got my full layer done with my plants and I'm just adding this to my card base oh thank you I love this set and this is such a fun um, pack of designer series paper that you can get your whole card um, basically without stamping, although we did stamp the sentiment. So now that is attached and it looks like I poked my plant there. I'm going to add my sentiment and for this I'm not going to use dimensionals because of all of the added thickness from my plants. I just flipped a glue dot somewhere. That's how we go, ma'am. I am a messy crafter. <laughs> Come along for the ride. Let's see. Okay. And I'm just gonna stick this down here. I don't wanna cover up too much of my plant. I could even, you know what? We could slide that right up under there. How cute is that? All right. We're going rogue. There. I like it. I like the plant hanging down since we didn't use that on the first one. So how cute is that? Super easy. Just using mostly designer series paper and then adding, oops, see there's my rogue glue dot. I found him. Oh, come off my card, man. There we go. Little pesky thing. 
All right, so there's the first project, super fun. And then the second one that we're gonna make today, and again, remember if you want to get these um, make and takes for free, um, you'll just wanna place an order in my online store using that host code for June before Sunday, and you'll get to, um, and I'll send you the kits for both of these cards. <coughs> So this is the second one, and we're going to do a little more stamping on this one. And this also uses the amazing greenery, stitch greenery background die. And I had it next to me, but now I don't. So let me just locate it in the catalog really quick so you can see a little bit of a close-up. I don't even know if this is going to help. But... It's right here. I think the light is gonna glare and with the delay on Facebook. Ah, so here is the die. Let's see, is it gonna show up? A little bit, it shows a little bit. Um, and then I will show you up close if I can get the right angle. I hope you guys can see this, but it's so pretty. It stitches, it's, um, it's probably like a five by five, if not a little bigger. I think the book probably has it's six inches by four and three quarters so you can stitch your whole card front and oh yeah that shows up great um and it's so awesome and so what I did was I stitched one piece of just jade and then I layered it onto my just jade card base to get that extra detail and so for this one, I'm gonna set my supplies off to the side. And we're gonna also use that paper lattice, which is just beautiful. And we're gonna stamp all of our images. And again, I'm gonna use Just Jade and Cinnamon Cider. Oh. Uh, was finals oh oh no yeah I would have gone by myself <laughs> I'm I'm funny like that though I would have been like peace hubby I'll be back in a week or a day or whatever you want but yeah I would totally go by myself well Jeff and I had um annual passes long before Andrew was born like the first year we started dating we got an annual pass and up until COVID last year we were going two to three times a year and just it's just been it's our thing um and it's been hard because we've missed it a lot so it was really nice to go and it not be super crowded and anyway it was just and Andrew's finally at that age where he was so engaged and so excited to be there and wanted to go on lots of rides and so it was just that made it even better it was a great trip okay so I'm gonna stamp my images and I used that really big lush leaf again, and I'm stamping in just jade. This is the same one that I cut out for the previous project. And then I wanna use this one as well. This is kind of like hanging. I'm not even sure what kind of plant it is, but I really like it. But I want it to be lighter since I'm stamping in jade as well. I'm gonna stamp Instead of stamping on my scratch paper, I'm actually going to just stamp on my paper, but I'm going to stamp it again. And then this piece is what I'm going to put onto my card. And that I'll just have stamped for something else. I can die cut it and use it later. And then I'm going to stamp my terracotta pot in cinnamon cider. And I'm going to stamp my sentiment and that will get cut out and cinnamon cider as well. And that's it for stamping. So I'm gonna put my ink pads away before I stick my hands in them. Um, so kit class, yes, I am super excited. So the fourth Thursday of the month at 6.30, I will be online and whoever orders a kit that month um, can join me on Zoom and we'll just put our kits together and chat. Um, you'll you'll need to use the the monthly host code for the kit order, and um, 
And then each month you can order a different kit or if you're still working on your other kit, you can use that one. Um, and just join me in chat. The new kits that Stampin' Up! is offering are super fun um, and versatile. And I just, I love the variety. And so I thought it would be fun just to have an extra day every month to get, to kind of get together because I do classes a couple times a month and then I have my team chat on the last Sunday of the month, but I really like crafting with other people. And so I thought this would be a great way to gather um, and put together kits. Um, they have the plan for the, the kit rollout program, the new program that they have. This is not Paper Pumpkin. Um, they came out with 10, I think, to start with. And there's and then when they sell out, they sell out. They just go away from the site. But their goal is to add two more in every month to keep refreshing the selection and keep people excited about what's go coming. And let me tell you, we saw the holiday catalog. And two of the Christmas kits that are coming are absolutely adorable and I can't wait to see what else they have coming that's new so you'll definitely want to keep checking the website in the kit section and if you want to craft with me once a month then um you know pick one of those up that strikes your fancy and we'll we'll chat and and put our kits together on Thursday night so I have stamped all the images that we're going to use for this card I'm sorry, it's, sometimes it's hard for me to talk and craft at the same time. So sometimes if I'm chatting, I don't get much done. But anyway, I already die cut these out. So through the magic of video, I have all of my pieces are ready to go. And then I also cut out my sentiment. And the another thing I cut out was one of the dies. I wanted to use that macrame plant holder. And so I have that here. This is the die. And I cut him out. But I didn't want my project, I didn't want it to be so white since I was laying it next to all of these other colors. And then I had this piece of designer series paper that's gray. So I just grabbed my blending brush if you don't have any of these yet, you need them. They're so soft and they blend so well. And so I've got my gray granite ink here and I'm just lightly, I don't want it to be gray, but I don't want it to be white. So I'm just lightly kind of smudging it up a little bit to get the starkness off of that plant holder and there I put a little too much here it almost looks it almost looks dirty but that's okay because once you put it on your card it's just gonna blend so well with everything else so that was super easy and super fast to just add a little bit of color and I'm gonna just poke that little piece out of there that's bugging me Okay, this is half of the paper lattice that we talked about earlier. So I've got my other half here and I'm gonna trim off a little bit to just, actually, I probably don't even need to trim that since I'm hiding it underneath the layer. I was gonna clean up that line a little bit, but I don't know that I have to. So, all of this is going to get layered. Here's that beautiful die cut piece. And this layer I cut to, um, it's five or three and three quarters by five because I wanted a larger frame around it when I put it onto my card base than the normal quarter inch mat that I usually work with. This glue, I think that glue is toast. I've been trying to squeeze it and it's just not working. So let's get this one. And again, I'm gonna use liquid glue for paper to paper because I wanna be able to move that piece around. And 
to kind of wiggle it. There we go. Right into place. The die, because it's a full card, like card layer die, it does curl the paper a little bit. So I really wanted to try to get a good amount of adhesive on there and make it flat. And then I used my lattice to start building my scene for my little planter. And I covered that with my gray. So once I decided where I wanted to put this, I, again, I'm grabbing my trusty glue dots and I'm just going to adhere it at the bottom. So I'm just gonna put my glue dot, it's kind of tricky with those pieces. It was easier on the first one because I had a cleaner line at the bottom. But I'm just gonna take my glue dot and carefully stick it on those posts or lines down here to hold it in place. And then I'm gonna line it up on my card front. There we go. Okay. And now I can put my first piece. Actually, let's see where I want that. That's good. Put my first piece down. I'm gonna use blue dots on the back of this one too. Yeah, I definitely have withdrawals too. My, um, the first year that we didn't have an annual pass was I think 2019, the last time we went to Disneyland was Easter that year and our passes expired in April. And then um, we didn't renew because Andrew was at the age where he wanted to go to Legoland. And so we figured we'd go to Legoland for his birthday and we were already planning to go to Disney World that fall, in like November. Um, and so we did not renew our passes and then everything shut down right after that. So this piece of designer series paper, I cut to the entire width of the paper or of the card base. So both of these are four and a quarter. And then my gray granite is um, one and a quarter and my brick is three quarters. And I am, I can see how it's bowing up a little bit. So I'm just gonna use my pick tool and slide another glue dot underneath there. And then one again, let's see at the top. Yeah, there we go. Looks like I got it a little crooked, but I'll cover that up with my plant. And so now I'm gonna put glue on this one to put my little brick shelf. I just love this paper. There we go. All right, and I'm gonna put my sentiment down. I like pulling all of my pieces together and then just layering it up at the end and it's kind of like a ta-da moment where you've got this and that and you're throwing it all together and then all of a sudden it's done and it's lovely. Okay, so this part was a little tricky and I'll show, I'll show you what I did. So I really like this plant, but if you can see here, I wanted it to stick out of the hanging, um, the hanger. And so I took it and kind of loosened up the fibers a little bit. I didn't want to fold the leaves, but I wanted to be able to kind of squeeze it through here. And so I'm gonna just stick that leaf through my holder and then I'm gonna try to bow this as much as I can without folding it and stick my other leaf right through there so you can see it's kind of stuck but the leaves are hanging out part of the the fabric and so now I'm gonna take my um, my pot and I'm gonna attach it to the back and so I'm going to make sure, again, I just want to make sure my leaves are where I want them. Just 
pull this up. And you can attach the pot to behind the, the plant or if you want to stick it underneath, you could do that as well. You can slide the leaves up a little bit if you need to, if you wanted to stick it like this. I did put mine in this way where the leaves were behind the pot, but because we're gonna add that extra piece, it doesn't really matter either way. It's not gonna look funny because you won't see that connection point. But either way, I had mine like this and then I just turned it over and while I'm still kind of holding things in place, again, with the trusty glue dots, I'm going to, I'm gonna put my glue dots so that it holds my plant to my planter. I don't know if you can see that, but these are just gonna kind of anchor things together so that it overlaps. And then I'm gonna do the same thing again at the bottom. I'm gonna turn it over and just make sure my pot is lined up. And I'm gonna attach the pot to the tassel, just overlapping the glue dot enough to anchor it together. And then once I put it down onto my card with more dots elsewhere, it's gonna hold the whole thing in place. So I'm just gonna add a few more and get that so that it's secured. And we're gonna put it right down onto, I'm gonna put it low enough so that when I tie my bow onto the top, it looks like it's hanging from this trellis. There we go. And now we can come back and add our greenery right on top so that it's hanging out as well. I'm just gonna stick one glue dot right there. Put that in place. And then slide some more right under here. Oops. Okay. And then the last thing is our bow. And so I've got my linen thread. I could definitely use the same um, twine that I used on my other card, but I did not cut another piece. So here is two eight inch pieces to make my double bow again. And I love that the linen thread is so, um, it holds the shape of the spool and gives you these adorable little curly Q tails. So a lot of times, even though the new twine essentials pack has um, crumb cake in it, I will probably still reach for my linen thread because it's curly. It's so cute. Look at those tails. So now I'm gonna take my glue dot again and I'm just gonna stick it right here and kind of bunch it up with my pick tool on my finger. And that is where my knot of my bow is going to go. And I'm gonna pull my tails down a little bit and trim them. But I don't wanna to take too much off because I really like the little curls. There we go. Now oh, that one flattened a little bit. But there, it's our second card. How cute. Are you guys loving this sweet, the bloom where you're planted sweet or AKA um, plentiful plants that I like to call it? So these are our two projects for today. It's been so fun crafting with you. I did want to take just a minute again and, if, and remind you if you want to receive both of these make and takes in the mail, um, just place an order by Sunday using that post code of $35 or more. Um, Stampin' Up! is offering free shipping tomorrow only, June 24th, and so that would save you some money. Um, order during free shipping. I know I've got a list of stuff that I need to stock up on. And I will send you these make and take kits. You will still need stamps and ink, but um, everything that's paper will be included. And then also, just a note 
again about my upcoming classes. On August 7th, we are working with the All Squared Away bundle. And this bundle, you get the stamp set with your registration in your packet. And then you can add the dies on if you'd like. It's a little hard to see. But anything, I will definitely be using the dies for class, but anything that needs die cut, I will send in your kit. Um, but if you want to keep using the, um, the bundle later on and make more cards, then you'll definitely want to add the dies on. I offer the dies as an add-on at a 29% discount. Um, Stampin' Up! offers the whole bundle at 10% off if you buy both together. And because of that, and because the I include the stamp set with your registration, I discount the dies. So you're saving the 10% that Stampin' Up! would offer, and then you're also saving the 19% that is tax and shipping um, to me. And so that is the 29% savings if you add on the dies during the class registration. And so that's gonna be super fun. I can't wait. Two, at least two of them are gonna be shakers, I know it. I'm sitting down this weekend to play with all of this stuff. And then again, August 21st is gonna be Cards for Kids. And I, I think they're so cute. We're gonna be using this adorable Give It A Whirl die set that makes these lovely spinner cards. So it's gonna be, in, in, at least one will be an interactive card. Excuse me, I've got the hiccups all of a sudden. And we're gonna be using the Stellar Birthday Stamp Set and also this adorable Pirates and Mermaids stamp set. I'm gonna make sure that's in frame. Um, and we'll definitely be making a shaker card, at least one shaker card, because I wanna make a shaker with that adorable mermaid. So those are the next two classes that are coming up. Registration for All Squared Away does close, um, I believe next weekend. If you'd like to join me for either or both of those, I would love to have you and craft away the day with you. Thanks so much for joining me, and I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I will see you next Wednesday.